let's start a lot of your time um but you guys thank you so much for jumping on i am really really excited about this call uh because i think it's going to be helpful as we kind of talk about more ways to utilize the number number one the um discover zaya um whether you come to the large team one or you run them in your own team so um why we want to cover why the discover zaya why they're awesome we also want to cover i'm gonna hang on just a sec can you ever so we also want to cover who to invite how to invite so really so that you can utilize it the best you can how to remind how to follow up and the post that we are talking about here so let me hurry and pull up my notes really quick so i make sure and stay on task because you know that i just all it takes is one child to walk in here and i'm totally off topic so anyway so i'm excited first and foremost if you guys have not um started doing the beat your best challenge that we threw out to our team this month. It's going to run through the whole summer, um, but our goal is to help you build your business through the summer. Your business is so easy not to work. It's easy to work. Like if you can believe it, your business is so easy to do, to work and to do, but it is even easy. It's even easier not to show up, right? Or it's just as easy not to show up um, in your business because we have kids home, we have our jobs, we have the water park, we have the lake, we have vacations, we have all these things. And what is very cool is we join this business so that we can still live a life. We are not telling you to sit at your computer, stay on your phone all day um, and work your business. That's not what this business is about. You can actually fit this business in, you know, in focus time where you're not meshing your life completely with the business and your kids and the business and your kids. And like, it's all combined so you don't get anything done set aside time. We have a team power hour every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I was going to do earlier, but it was also summer, so I didn't want to commit to 6 a.m. But if you need a different time, get a power partner and do a different time or throw one for your team. Uh, but just know for the whole team, the link to that is up pinned in announcements um, to join Monday through Friday, okay, for a one hour, seven to eight power hour to get your stuff done. That for me is before my kids wake up so that I, yes, I can work at the pool. But if I don't have to work at the pool, amazing. We don't have to work at the pool. Like we can say, oh, look at me working my business at the pool. And that's awesome that we have the opportunity, but you don't have to, you could definitely get it done in the, in the morning and then like get to swim with your kids at the pool. So I don't like swimming. I don't like water. I don't know if you know that. So I don't do that. Maybe I will work at the pool. Um, anyway, so there's that beat your best. This is to help you build your businesses in a focused way. If you have not seen, our goal is to help you beat your best previous months here in the summer. Um, if you were here last summer, we want you to pull last summer's numbers. You're gonna, all of this is in the announcement section at the top of the Facebook page. And then you're gonna print out the paper. You're gonna run your numbers for last summer. And then you are going to try and beat them this summer. All right, if you're beating your numbers from last summer, you are building a very strong business leading you up to um, success here in September, October, November, when it is exploding. You will see summer does goes down. That's okay. That's normal. Your your business doesn't have to though. So I'm giving you permission to still show up and build a strong business even in the summer um, in an hour a day. We're not saying three hours. We're saying try an hour a day, 30 minutes a day, whatever you can do is way better because cons consistency co compounds and inconsistency compounds. Hey, will you shut that door and then bring that back in in a second? Oh, sorry. My kids all of a sudden keep needing me. Just, Adri, just go. Thank you. Okay, so um, just going to call my dog for 10 minutes. Okay, so um, an inconsistency compound. So that's our goal. Every week, there's a different topic. Last week, you saw was the booking blitz. This week is prospecting, which we're going to lead upon here. Next week is sales. And then the next week is social media posting. So this one, I love so much. This was just a happy little accident that this um, call lined up with the prospecting week, which I'm freaking excited about. Um, because what we have created for you guys outside of the beat your best, um, daily challenges that we have to help you beat your best, um, is an incredible opportunity for you to help build your team, taking the pressure off of you. So if you are a new rep, if you are a seasoned rep, if you have been here for, you're kind of in the middle, the, um, discover Zaya potential rep call or like people that are interested in your potential reps are it is so key for them. 
Why? Because third party validation is what most people are looking for. I can sit here forever and tell Randy Lee how amazing she is. I, this is what I consider it. But like, if my mom tells me I'm really cute and I'm like, sweet, like, that's so awesome, mom. But, but then if my neighbor tells me, oh, you look so cute today. I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like, yes, I trust you today. I look cute. Somebody with you telling them all the time that this business is amazing and they can do it. They need to hear it from somebody else too, to validate what it is that you're saying. And that is our opportunity calls. That's our Discover Zayas. This is a call that they can come to, to get information about this business, what it looks like, where they can sell, sell. I'm from Utah. I know I always say that wrong. Um, where they can make money, how they make money, things that they can earn. Um, and that is why we want to really start pushing a different way or a more in, um, intentional way for you guys to use to get more out of these opportunity calls. So that's what we're going to talk, kind of talk about. So number one, we're going to talk about the opportunity call and I, num we want you to have belief in them. Number two, we want you to know how to best utilize, invite, and follow up with your customers. We want these calls not to just be on the calendar. And if you have someone, you add it to them. We want you to every single month be looking for people and connecting with people to add to every month's opportunity call, to every month's Discover Zaya. That is how you build a business. That is residual income. You can keep selling leggings and not build a team. That's okay. There's room for you here. These calls are for you to take the weight off of your shoulders in building your team. And it's another tool for you to add to your tool belt. Okay. Um, okay. So raise your hands. Um, if any of you guys have ever, and a bunch of you are not on video, but that's okay. Um, have ever invited someone to our team's Discover Zaya events? I know Megan is new. Okay. There's probably a bunch of people raising their hands here that I can't see, but um, right. So we know that they work. We've actually seen a huge uptick after our opportunity calls. I'm going to be so annoyed of saying those. We're just going to say calls um, after the call, an uptick in recruiting because third party validation is what people need. You can talk to them until you're blue in the face, but they want somebody else to talk about it. So our goal here in this call is to talk about how to invite. It's invite, remind, attend, and follow up cycle. This is really something we're going to be implementing more to help you build your business and utilize these calls in a better way. So it's not like, oh, shiz, <laughs> oh, crap, the opportunity calls tomorrow. And I forgot to post about it. Hey, here's the Discover Zaya call graphic. Let me know if you want to be added. I did that last month. I was like, oh, my gosh, I forgot about it. Here's the opportunity call. Let me know if you want to be added. How many people do you think messaged me? Like, not even my mom. Nobody messaged me. Nobody cared about that opportunity call because I didn't sell it. We are in the social selling business. You are not just selling leggings. You are selling the, this business. You are selling the host opportunity. And so it's going to take more than just, hey, let me know if you want to be added, right? If you're actually going to utilize it to the best of your ability to help in your business. So, um, so first thing first, to help you utilize it, you need to know who you are talking to. I don't know however many of you were on the call today. Um, it was like the party training that was before the announcement of the winners. It was so good. Tinley Bone is, I want to be here. Like, she is so amazing. I freaking love her. Um, but she talked about recruiting, and it just really was like, this is what I'm learning about. But this is, when she said it, I was like, yep, like, this is it. You need to know who you're speaking to. Before you can recruit and invite anyone, you have got to know who you're talking to. You can't, when you speak to everyone, you speak to no one. That's when you speak to everyone, here's the, here's the graphic, it's tomorrow, let me know if you want to invite. Nobody's responding because you haven't singled anybody out and said, are you interested? Are you interested? Are you interested? Or if you are this person, like this call is for you, right? You haven't personalized it. So who do you want to work with? Who is your ideal rep? Did you know that you can actually recruit your ideal person by how you're speaking to them? By how, but you have to know who that is first. At first, I was like, literally anyone, everyone can do this. And then, and they can. I want you to know they can. But who do you want to work with? Do you want to be holding someone's hand the whole time and, and like really coaxing them to work? Or do you want to find a builder or somebody that's excited about it? 
right? So who do you want to work with? I challenge you today to write down five things of the person who would be your ideal rep, right? Um, because that's going to help you understand who you're talking to in your post that we're doing during this prospecting challenge. So does your rep work? Is she busy? That's something that um, Tinley talked about. The busier the person, the more success it seems that they find. I can tell you, and I said this in my last mastermind, if you're here joining calls, I already know you're a busy person. Most people don't just join the team calls because they're bored. They're making it a priority because you're busy and you're trying to see how to work your business more effectively. Like if you're here, I know you're a busy person and I know you want more out of your business. So who's your ideal rep? Does she work a nine to five? Is she a mom? Is she a college student? Does she have an education? Or is she like me and she went to hair school so she didn't have to take the ACT? Like, what is it? Who are you talking to? Are you a professional, like a, like a business professional or... And is that who your target audience is? Or is it other moms that are like you and they're super busy and they're stay-at-home moms? You get to have a target audience, all right? And when you speak to them, they're gonna sign up with you. Um, so when you speak to everyone, you speak to no one. So find out who are you going to invite, write everything down about her, him, her, whatever it is, him or her. Um, and then, so for me, I don't go after the high business, the lawyers because I don't know how to connect with them. We don't have that much in common as far as like, they probably have way better grammar than me. Like I, I feel self-conscious about myself in front of people that have ha super high education, <laughs> all right? So that's okay, they're not my target audience. They're gonna be somebody else's and they're gonna have like a super awesome team. So um, who is it? Write those down. And this is going to help you, like I said, in those posting things that we're doing in the team page. So um, the other thing is how to invite. Who are you inviting and how are you inviting? You have to sell them on the idea of joining the call before you can sell them on the idea of joining your team. So what does this look like? This looks a lot like soft selling. A hard sell is join the call. Message me if you want. Soft selling is letting them know behind the scenes what it looks like to be a rep. You have to soft sell them. Um, selling is not icky. It is just giving information so that they can make a choice if it's for them. All right, so that's kind of what we're looking at selling here. So um, I, I want you guys to raise your hand if you have also just forgot about the Discover Zion and said, calls tomorrow, message me if you want to invite. Like, is anybody else super guilty of that? Or maybe you're like brand new. <laughs> I did it last month. So we're all just like confessional here. Um, anyway, so the best way to invite through posting is to get personal. They know you sell leggings. They know you love your leggings. But what's cool is you can talk to them about our even more incredible product, which is the business. The leggings help you feel incredible. This business is a vehicle for change. What do they need change from? How, what, how can it optimize their life? Um, do they need groceries to put on the table? Does their husband hate their job? This was me, hated his job and he was always gone. So I decided to like see what I could do. And not because he was like, I wish you would work, I was just like, you know what? I'm fully capable of selling activewear. I'm going to see what happens. And it has been a huge blessing for me. Has there been ups and downs? Absolutely. Did I know what I was doing? Oh my gosh, not even a little bit. But what is it they need in their life? You can look at the most successful person that you know, and they still can get something out of Zaya. Doesn't have to be money. It can be community. It could be friends. It could be travel. It could be something of their own. It could be connection. So, um, just making sure to make your invites in your post personal, which is why this lead up to the potential or the prospecting thing is huge. So a lot of people have been telling me it really was hard to come up with some of those posts that we challenge you to do because it helps you turn it back on you because your person that you're inviting wants to know what you've gotten out of it. They know you love your leggings, but what have you gotten out of it? That's why today mine was five ways this business has blessed my family. And I didn't even say it could bless yours too. join me. It was like, I was glad I jumped. That was my post today. I didn't even talk about the call because I'm just talking and selling them on the opportunity of this business, right? On what it is that it looks like, you know, tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to actually kind of more talk about my daily life in the stories so they can see how I work my business, what it is that I'm doing, how they can see themselves doing it. So if we're just like fit it into the nooks and crannies of your day, we got to show them that it takes more than nooks and crannies. It, it takes intentional time, but it can be done in a short amount of time. Okay. They want to see that. Okay. 
Um, the best way, oh, is to get personal. This is where soft selling comes into play. So I challenge you guys to participate in the, prospe in the prospecting posts that we have. Write them out. It takes me sitting down. It takes me the longest to do the first one. And then once I get the first one down, I'm like, okay. And then I can crank out a few more. I was in a really good mood and like super high energy. So I wrote four. I knew I couldn't write seven because I started to get like the kids were waking up and I was kind of like, ah. So I didn't even waste my energy and I just moved on to something else knowing I would go back to the other post. So, um, so the first post, we have them all right now. I won't go through all of them, but these are the ideas. Is start by telling them what this business has done for you. How have you grown? It can, if you're in here a week, you can still find some way that this business has impacted your life for the better. You've met new friends. You have made a few sales. People that maybe you thought wouldn't support you have supported you. Your confidence, your confidence just in jumping and signing up and believing in yourself for like this second, a small second, that's something huge for you to, um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll go to the comments in a second because I'm a squirrel, but that's something huge for you to talk about, okay? So you're gonna start by talking about the business and what it's done for you. And then you're going to talk about what it's afforded you. For me, time freedom. I'm not going to say it bought me a car or whatever it is that you're going to say. That would be against FTC to say, because of Zaya, I can now pay my house payment. That's definitely not okay. But because of Zaya, I have more time freedom to be able to spend it with my family. My husband gets to spend time with our family too. So what is it afforded you? Um, the other thing is, um, you're going to offer them an invite to be curious. You're going to say, so why Zaya? Why now? And who is this best for? Who is this best for is anyone who's ready for, to add a little bit more to their life, to add a little bit more community, to add a little bit more, um, anyway, to add a little bit more to their life. Who is it best for? So why Zaya? Why now? Because we're in the active channel and e-commerce, um, in the e-commerce division or whatever, and that is exploding. Everyone you know is wearing activewear. We're not going anywhere. The activewear channel is supposed to be about four, like worldwide, 426 billion or something by 2026. That's insane. And you get to sell it from your freaking phone. So why Zaya? Why now? Because we're not going anywhere. And there's a million other things. So you could talk about some of our frequently asked questions. You're going to address objections. There are people that are not reaching out to you about this business because they're too busy. They're like, oh, that's fun. She does that. I'm way too busy. Oh, that's fun. She does that. I have a really small social media audience. How are you going to address, address that so that that's not something holding them back? Hey, if you feel like Zaya is for you, but you're worried because you have a small social media following, I want you to know we teach you how to grow your following, starting with this following that you have. Most of our reps don't join with 5,000 people. Most of them join with a few hundred. And we can still find a lot and a lot of success, right? So you're going to address that in your post. Um, you're going to invite them to do the call with another idea is if you're worried about fitting this in, as if you work and you're worried about fitting this into your nine to five, um, we're going to answer that on the call. How you can fit this into your nine to five. How, if you're a busy mom, we're going to answer this on the Discover Zaya call. If you're interested in adding this to your life, join the call. We're going to answer all your questions. Get them to the call. Hey, Adrian, will you shut this door? Get him out and then shut the door. Okay. Um, and then um, two days of reminder about the call. Remind them to check it out and it's not a pressure thing. Okay. So that's a small idea on breakdown of posts and why we do that. You are priming your people to find your best people. When you're overcoming their objections, you are letting them know they can do it. And if they are still like, st I, I know I couldn't fit it in. You don't want to. I don't want them on the call because I'm not here to talk to them. In, I'm not here to talk them into it. I'm like, this is for you. This is all the different things. And they get to come to you and decide if it's for them. So the people that are actually coming to you are ready. They're willing. You're kind of weeding people out and then people may join later. Okay. The next way to invite is obviously sending personal invites, people you've had recent contact with. I don't do cold messages, um, but just sending out personal invites with um, people you have relationship equity with, okay? So, hey, hey, Sarah, I know you're a busy mom, but I wanted to invite you a call that covers what I do here at Zaya. Um, I never thought I would have time for this, but I found I can actually fit it into my day and still be a present mama while earning some money too. Are you interested in joining the call? Now I'm going to be more specific to her needs. Like, hey, I know you have a ton of little kids. When I started, I did too. Let's talk through how this can help you. So anyway, um, a few different ways people to invite is personal and then those posts and then also to remind we all have the best of intentions we all put things in our schedule and I still miss so many corporate calls 
I could be like, I have a call in 10 minutes. And then my husband, 25 minutes later, he's like, don't you have a call? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about the call. I've turned off all my reminders and I was ready, but I missed it. So remind them day of and tag them in the video if it's a live or if we end up doing a Zoom randomly, um, send them again the link right before the call and then attend yourself. So you know exactly what we covered. So when they ask you a question about something, you're not like, no, I, hang on just a second. And then you have to hurry and go watch the recording. Attend yourself if possible. Um, so you can follow up with confidence. And then lastly, the follow-up. So invite, remind, attend, follow-up. So some believe follow-up is awkward. Have you ever been the person that believes following up is awkward? Like I was like, I feel like I'm pestering you. Like, hey, what'd you think? What'd you do? It's like my kid, what'd you do? What'd you, did you like it? What did they say? Like all of that stuff. You guys, following up with somebody is kindness. If you invite somebody to this call, it is because you believe that it's a good fit for them and you believe they can do it. It is rude to invite them and then not follow up with them because it lets them know that you're like, just wanted to get somebody on the call, right? We have to be following up within 24 hours with people. Hey, did you get a chance to watch that call? Because sometimes they forgot about the call and then you can remind them, oh, I'll go tag you in the video so you can watch it and I'll follow up with you tomorrow. So they know, oh, I need to go watch that before she follows up with me. Um, so following up re reinforces to them that you are there to help them see if it's right for them. If somebody invited me to something and is inviting me to host or join them in business and then drops me for a little while after I watch the call, I'm not feeling like they're going to be very supportive. So I'm not really going to be interested. Right. I may have been like, that's amazing. She hasn't messaged me. Maybe she didn't want me to, like, I can't figure it out. You need to follow up within about 24 hours. So see if they were able to attend the rec or recording or um, tag them back in the live. And then also if they ask if they have any questions for you, this is where I challenge you to get curious and notice that this is the perfect opportunity for you to just say, I'm here to answer your questions. The last thing we want is, and it's easy for me, I was telling somebody else that when somebody's like, no questions, thank you. And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you, bye. <laughs> because I don't want to make them feel awkward. Um, but I want you to know that I would rather have them leave with their questions 100% answered because they may have some concerns that are actually just in their head. And I'm like, no, that's not actually how it is. Or they may be misunderstanding something. So um, I want to talk them through their concerns. Hey, are, you know, can I answer any questions for you? No, I'm good. Are you ready to join me? Like, is this something that you want to do? I'm going to straight up answer, ask them that question, because then it's not just like, I want them to start thinking, oh, is this actually, this is my point, like that I need to decide. If it's no, I challenge you to say these words. Okay, can I just ask what's holding you back? What's holding you back? That will tell you everything you need to know to get clear with them about. If their concern is legitimate, like, oh, like they just got diagnosed with something or whatever it is. And it's like, I understand that, okay? But if their concern is, I just don't think I have time. You can say, Oh my gosh, you're so lucky because we actually have a team full of women that are so busy, but they still find success in their business. So it's just about what's holding you back. You have to ask that question to get clear on what it is that you can walk them through. So um, anyway, so what's holding you back and then working them through their concerns. Um, and then the last thing is also just creating um kind of a deadline, not really a deadline, um, but to kind of say, and going back to that, actually getting curious about their concerns helps you know if they're ready or not. Your goal, I know Kristen Boss says, if you talk them into joining, you're gonna talk them into staying. So that what's holding you back gets you clear if they're ready. And then you're not, I don't wanna say wasting your time, but if somebody's not ready, like she said, you're gonna, you're gonna beg them to stay and work. You want them to have fun and like join. This business is freaking fun. But if somebody is not ready, then they're not ready and that's okay because they will be ready in the future at some point. All right. Um, anyway, so, and then at the end of every um, follow-up, I just kind of say, and we'll say it in the Discover Zaya, there's a new rep onboarding in, in a week. So jump in, come and learn, hit the ground running and join our new rep onboarding um, to get your business started right away. So you can start earning your kit back. So just kind of also leverage that like, hey, if you join before Tuesday, we've got a new rep onboarding um, that will help you just launch your business right away. So utilizing that. So it's the invite, remind, attend, follow up. Um, we as a team are going to be pushing this. These are seven posts that we have in the prospecting week that you can use 
And we challenge you to use every week leading up to your Discover Zaya. Get creative on them, get different. But this is helping you soft sell the call and then straight up sell it. This is what is going to prime and get um, your ideal rep for you. And they're going to be ready to say yes by the end. All right, instead of like, hey, join the call. And then you're like crossing your fingers that they really, really liked it. You now have backup that is like, hey, okay, can I just, just so I know what are your concerns? So maybe I could talk you through it. You know, if she's like, I know my husband's not going to support me, but why, why do you think he's not going to support you? And maybe I can give you some information about what this business looks like so that you can have something to talk to him about. So just get curious in the follow-up. So um, anyway, as we focus you guys on who we are inviting and we are consistently not just like, oh, do I have anyone to invite to the Discover Zaya? You are consistently finding people through your conversations, through your invites, through your posts, um, to bring every month to this call, your business will be rolling. You will move yourself into momentum. Sometimes you might get zero, even though you did the same work. And then some the next month, four people are ready. This is not a business. It, this is a business of, like we talked about, consistency over intensity. It's not just like, for seven days, I'm going to work. You better be showing up those other seven days um, because that's when you're going to get people there. But this business pays you out for the work you do it just may not be immediate and I can tell you like that with my whole heart I, I challenge this entire team and every person on this call and myself to get three people on next week's call three people Ch I'm not telling you all three people have to join next week's call your goal is three people okay because if your goal is one then you might get zero but if your goal is three you're probably going to get one or two and you might get four and you might get five, whatever it is, I don't care. But Tev, yeah, Tev, that's doable. Tr your goal is three people on next week's call by doing these posts, by talking to people more about it. And I challenge also all of you, if you are hesitant about talking about this business opportunity, I challenge you to write down why. Why are you nervous? Why are you hesitant? If you are, and if you're not, I want you to write down all the reasons you're not hesitant, what it has blessed you with, because that will, when you talk about what it's blessed you with is what's going to help you in your content writing and it's going to help you share with confidence but if you are hesitant you've got to get those words out and you're going to look at them and you got to get real with them and then you can kind of go but what if that's not true what if people aren't going to judge me what if the people i actually care about joining me are not actually going to judge me what if the people i don't want to join me are probably the judges and i don't care what if that kid from high school is actually really lame and I don't care what he thinks about me, right? Or college or my mother-in-law or your, I mean, my mother-in-law is fine, but you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, so just kind of get clear. And then I hope that you lean on your uplines confidence and you lean on our uh, resources that we have for you here in the team and in your uplines team because we have everything that you need. And as you are talking to the people that are self-starters, that are ready for more, that are ready to go after it, those are the people that you are not gonna have to handhold and have all the answers. That is why we have resources to answer their questions for you. You are there to support. You are not the resource, you are the leader. And every person in here can love and support somebody um, and not have to know all the answers. Okay, so if you wait till know all the answers before you build your team, you will wait forever because there's still times that I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about sometimes. So um, anyway, so we will be, like I said, addressing this and embracing this going forward that our goal is three, every Discover Zaya, and you're doing that by being intentional with your posts, you utilizing these seven posts or make, make up your own um, leading up to it. So it's not just like, oh crap, tomorrow's Discover Zaya, join us. <laughs> I'm also... Um, saying that I'm not going to do that as well. So anyway, this business is a blessing. And I know as I'm reading all the, a bunch of names on here, I know I'm not alone in believing that. If you're new, if you are just jumping back in, this business is changing lives. I get messages all the time and they're all different. Like, I didn't know I needed friends. I didn't know that, you know, I started this business and then I lost my job and now I'm able to still pay for my family. We don't know what people are going through. And your job is just to share it. It is not to convince anybody. Because if you convince them to stay or join, you're going to convince them to stay. So take that pressure off of you. Your job is to share it. 
and show up imperfectly and to know you don't have to have all the answers because you're not the resource. You are the leader to just love and support. So anyway, oh, I'm going to hurry and go to chat. Um, yes, the recording was amazing. And take the endorphins after your workout <laughs> and write your content. That is so true, Tev. That is definitely, I, I can only do it on certain times a day to write my content because otherwise I'm like, I don't know what to even say. I'll just talk about my dog. Anyway. Okay, um, if you guys, anyone wants to un take your picture off, like put your picture on, we're gonna take a picture and um, I'll put it on my story and you can screenshot it and take it and put it on your story because this is also soft selling. This business is posting about the calls that you're on so they see the, re um, the support that you get as you sign up. So anyway, all right, ready? One, two, three. A few, I think, oh, I got Megan. Yep, right at the end. Okay. All right, guys, have a good night. This recording will be up tomorrow. So um, if your teams missed it, whatever. Okay, see you later. <laughs>